Let's look at this MCQ. What does it say? It says a 12 year old boy presented with a 2 month history of knee pain after fall. He lost 3 kgs in weight but is otherwise well. He is pale, has no fever and his knee swollen and warm to touch. X-ray shows dense sclerosis mixed with areas of radiolucency and aggressive periosteal new bone formation in the distal femoral metaphysis. What is your most likely diagnosis? What are the options? Perosteal osteosarcoma, periosteal osteosarcoma, high grade intramedullary osteosarcoma and telangiectatic osteosarcoma. Now let's look at this question in more detail. What are the hints here? Hint number 1, it's a 12 year old boy and there is a history of 2 month knee pain. Usually it's an incidental finding that is a fall, history of fall. He lost 3 kgs in weight, otherwise he's well. His pale has no fever. There is swelling and it is warm to touch. X-ray shows dense sclerosis mixed with areas of radiolucency. Aggressive periosteal reaction or periosteal newborn formation is seen in the distal femoral metaphysis. What is your likely diagnosis? Right. In order to answer this question, we need to understand the various types of osteosarcoma. Before we attempt to answer these questions, we will try to read various types of osteosarcoma. Now, there are three x-rays that I am showing you over here. X-ray number one is basically your perosteal osteosarcoma. Okay. X-ray two is your periosteal osteosarcoma. X-ray 3 shows your telangiectatic osteosarcoma. Perosteal osteosarcoma, I want you to remember, is a low-grade osteosarcoma. Periosteal osteosarcoma is also low-grade. And telangiectic is extremely high-grade. Alright, what else? Perosteal has good prognosis whereas periosteal also has decent prognosis moderate but telangiectatic has poor prognosis now very importantly you will realize that the perosteal osteosarcoma occurs on the surface of the bone it is also known as the juxtacortical type juxtacortical type it usually arises from the posterior cortex of the femur you can clearly see it here this is the posterior cortex of the femur it is arising the posterior cortex of the femur it is more common in females all right the unique points about periosteal osteosarcoma is that it is the most common surface form of osteosarcoma and it usually arises in the diaphysis, right? So it arises in the diaphysis, whereas this here is in the metaphysis. And telangiectatic osteosarcoma looks almost like aneurysmal bone cyst. Perosteal, juxtacortical, occurs in females. Periosteal, diaphyseal surface form. Telangiectatic osteosarcoma mimics aneurysmal bone cyst. None of this is the most common type of osteosarcoma. The most common type of osteosarcoma is your typical high grade malignant osteosarcoma. It is usually intramedullary. The important point to remember here is that the X ray finding of the most common type of osteosarcoma is mixed. It has both the sclerotic as well as lytic features on X-ray. Alright. And distal femur is the most common site at the metaphysis. Alright. So metaphysis, distal femur, mixed appearance on X-ray. With this knowledge, can we attempt to answer this question? Loss of weight in 3 kgs. It's a lesion, definitely. Can it be perosteal osteosarcoma? It can be, but it is showing aggressive perosteal reaction. Right? We know perosteal is low grade, so it cannot be perosteal osteosarcoma. Can it be periosteal? It could be, but the lesion is in the metaphysis. So this is a diaphyseal. Can it be telangiectatic osteosarcoma? No. 
there will not be any sclerosis in telangiectatic type it mimics aneurysmal bone cyst so what is the correct answer high grade intramedullary osteosarcoma